we are Rob and Ali sharing with you our passion of all things cruise and travel. Today we are on board the Carnival Luminosa and we are going to give you an orientation. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you where everything is in relation to everything else which hopefully will help you to find your way around the ship when you get on board. Okay, so let's go down to one of the maps here and we'll just give you a, a quick kind of overview of what we're going to do. Yep, and then we'll take you around the ship and show you all the different areas. Okay, let's go. The Carnival Luminosa is a very easy ship to navigate, so we're hopefully going to make it even easier for you. There are these little, um, these kind of ship diagrams all the way around the ship, uh, mainly by the elevators, and these will help you get a little bit orientated as well. We always start off um, at the what we call sort of the, we call the centre of the ship, but it isn't actually the centre of the ship. Just as it, a reference point. As a reference point, and then from here we then work out where everything else is. So that's level two which is the um or deck two we're on deck two now that is the atrium so that's the, the point normally where you would board and that's where you will see the big statue of donna the glass elevators and a beautiful big bar and that will then that you are then in the center of the ship on deck two from there you will find that um towards the aft which is the back of the ship that is your formal dining areas that's on level two and level three towards the front the very front is your theater that is also on level two and level three and in between that atrium the formal restaurants and the theater that is where you will find all the bars that's where you'll find the ocean bar where they'll have the quizzes and dancing at night you will find your nightclub and the piano bar uh, the and the casino and the casino is there as well so it's a really nice easy walk the great thing about this ship is it's fairly narrow although it's, it's a really big ship it's fairly narrow and so um the bars tend to be all down one side uh most of the activities down one side that you can get to so it doesn't feel like a maze that you're going to get lost there's just one walkway isn't there that goes just from front walkway. to back so Level three is mainly the shopping, photography. As we say, you've then got the the um, the balcony level for the theatre, and the um, formal set dining room times on level two, on level three at the back there. Is there anything else on level three? I think there was a library, library photography shops, and um, all that kind of things up there. The next exciting level. All the rest in between two and then nine. Nine Great. is the next important, or between three and nine, the next important level. That's sort of the Lido deck. That is where you will find the uh, the sort of buffet style dining. And that's everything from your normal buffet style to burgers and burritos and the grill. And then you will also find Serenity. That's at the back. That is the adult only retreat area, which is just beautiful. And then you will also find the family swimming area. Lots and lots of deck chairs out, um, really beautiful. And then that's your uh, swimming pool and your jacuzzis uh, and the big video screen. And that's in the evening. That is where they will hold their outdoor um, activities and dances. The yep. kind of the deck parties are out there. Level 10. The, the, the spa level. is also on level 9. Don't forget the spa. Oh, and yes, the gym. and the spa. The spa and the gym. <laughs> if you're looking to keep fit. And then we can go up a level to deck 10, the very top. This is where we've got some more. Um, we have more um, uh, bar areas. So I think it's another sunset bar, which is beautiful when you're doing sail away or just to have um, that lovely sundown a drink. We've got more of the Cloud Nine um, Fitness and Relaxation Centre, uh, Putting Green, and the, the kids' clubs are up there as well. Smoking areas on deck 10 as well. And the smoking area. Yeah, yeah. That's funny, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think the easiest way to that, I've got told where everybody is. Uh, where, 
Okay, we've mentioned where everything is. I think the easiest thing to now is we'll take a trip through the ship and show what these areas are like. Okay, so we're on level two. This is where we're going to start off. Yep. Right at the very front, which is where the theatre is. Let's go and have a look. Here we are in the theatre on deck two. This is on two levels. Deck two and deck three, which is the balcony. You will notice on the little diagrams that we've just shown you about the ship, the, um, it appears that the theatre is on deck one also. You cannot access the theatre from deck one. That is simply to make allowances for the slope of the theatre here. So it as sweeps into deck one, but you can't access it from deck one. You can access the theatre from the lifts to go to deck three. You can also come in the theatre, there's a stairway at the back, and then there's these two beautiful spiral staircases at the front here, and that will get you to the front seats on the balcony as well. One of the really, the coolest things about this theatre is these beautiful seating areas here, which are like, like kind of lounge seats, but everybody has a table, a fixed table, and enough room from the back of the seats in front to this table to be able to get along. So let's move on. We're still on level two. We're now at the front of the ship, and we're gonna make our way through. Let's go. From the theatre, we're now going to go through the Ocean Plaza. This is where they have the music of an evening and dancing and quizzes during the day. Which is going on at the moment. Which is going on at the moment, that's what you can hear. So we're just going to walk through here so that we can, uh, we can avoid all the talking. But you'll see how busy it gets. It's full today in the Ocean Plaza. We have a quiz going on about yes, a movie number, quiz. Number six. In the Ocean Plaza, you will also find the TV screens well, that are constantly playing uh, the up-to-date games of soccer and football and rugby. Straight past the Ocean Plaza, we are right into the casino. This is a wonderful casino area. The walkway goes right through. Right. Lots and lots of things going on here, and it's quite noisy. On my right here is the sushi bar. If you like sushi and sashimi, this is the place for you to come. It is at an extra charge. I've tried it. It's delicious. There is a bar in the casino. This is an 18 only area. Um, but the bar, you don't have to be uh, gaming at the casino to use the bar here. And it is open later than probably most of the other bars. It's one worth knowing if you want a late night drink. Oh, and the nightclub as well is all, also late night. As you walk through the corridors here, there are toilets everywhere. And they're tucked away in the sides of these corridors. Um, so you may not actually notice the sign that says toilets, but you will soon find out where they are. Next, we come to the warehouse arcade. More flashing lights and lots of noise. Is it under it? This is, a, this is one of the most uh, well decked out arcades that we have seen on a ship. It is for extra charge, but they have fantastic machines in here for the kids uh, to keep them entertained for a while. Moving on to something a little bit more sophisticated is the art gallery. And you can see we've literally walked two steps away from the casino and the arcade with all the music and all the lights. And we've come to this beautiful, serene art gallery area. You don't have to go to the art auctions to enjoy the art that's on this ship. It's everywhere. It's, they put the art that is for sale around the ship so you can see it in its natural habitat, let's put it that way, so you can see what it would look like in your own home, where it's by the bars and the lounges. We are still on level two, we haven't finished yet. We're now in the atrium, the center of the ship. This is where you've got your glass elevators that will take you to every floor. I think they're all out at the moment. <laughs> yeah, 
We have Donna sitting here majestically. We've got guest services over in the corner and you can book your shore tours in the other corner. This bar is magnificent. It serves all your beers, cocktails and coffees and specialty coffees. There's always somebody playing behind there. Let's move on. When you want your photographs taken in the evening, this is the place to come. This is the walkway. Um, and they set these up. I think you can start getting your photographs taken about 5 p.m. and it goes right through till about 10 p.m. And just from that atrium, more beautiful seating area. In the daytime, this is beautiful because you can see out to the sea as you're just cruising by. Let's keep on going. There's some lovely backdrops here for taking you, uh, for having your photographs taken. I know. As we always say, you're not obliged to buy anything, but it is nice to see yourselves dressed up with a beautiful backdrop and uh, you may then be tempted to buy. Here, and I'm saying the art gallery continues through uh, the walkways. So this is all the art that is available from the um, art auction, if you like. Nestled between the atrium and the piano bar as we're making our way from the front to the back of the ship is the nightclub. This is a nice surprise that the nightclub is on this deck and not thrown up somewhere on the top floors. Um, we can go in, but it is closed. Ah, door's very heavy, but just to show you here, It's usually open at night. Yeah, it's usually open. <laughs> It's a beautiful disco. You will see us bopping around um, on some of the extra footage that we're going to take. There, is, uh, there are actually spiral staircases throughout from um, deck two going up to deck three. So there are some in the atrium. There's one in the casino that will take you. Oh, no, it's the Ocean Plaza that will take you to the coffee club. So a little bit like Ikea, where you could find your little cut throughs. <laughs> That's what you will find on board this ship, that you don't always have to get the lift. Um, and there's a, a spiral staircase here that will take you to the second floor of the nightclub. That's the second floor up there. It's just got tables and um, chairs on. There's no uh, dance floor up there. I'm it's prime nice viewing to watch everybody else boogieing <laughs> down here. Let's carry on to the piano bar. Almost at the front of the ship now, where the restaurants are. This is the piano bar. This is this is closed closed today, but you can still sit along here and enjoy the beautiful views out to the sea. This starts, I think it's about five o'clock in the evening, and is where it's delightful to come for your pre-dinner drinks whilst you wait for your seating to be called out on your app. Nice big bar, and there's the piano over there. So imagine sitting here at the seating here with your gin and tonic waiting to be called for your for your meal suddenly comes up on the app Bing! you just get up and you walk this way or you can walk this way <laughs> and you've arrived at your well this is your formal dining and by formal um you don't mean of course that you've got to dress formally no. it's the main dining room it's the sit down dining room where you will be served by the the waiters and waitresses rather than the buffet which is, is self-service let's go and have a look this is beautiful in here there are very few queues here because of the app it's now all done so that you will be told when your table is ready go to the maitre d here and somebody will then escort you to your table it's all terribly civilized now this restaurant goes from one side to the other side there and let's just do a quick skip here the way to the back um, I'm just going to tell you what's marvelous about this restaurant is that the service stations are all the way around the outside where there's a walkway they're set aside from the dining so you cannot hear the clitter clatter of all those dishes and all that scraping going on it's a beautiful beautiful restaurant and uh, yeah has a really nice feeling to it upstairs is deck three 
I do like getting the lifts, obviously. I'm very lazy. However, I love these sp spiral staircases throughout the ship that will take you from one little area to another area. So give them a go if you can. You'll be missing a treat if you don't give some of these stairways a go. So now we're going to start from deck three at the back of the ship and work our way forward and show you all what's on offer on deck three. Leading from deck three from the restaurant, we're now going into the alchemy bar. <laughs> this is a specialty cocktail lounge. It's it's open at the moment. I think we're about 4 o'clock, 4.30. Um, quarter to 4. Yep, quarter to 4. So this is open now and it stays open till about 11.30. This has got, again, it's got this beautiful seating. You can see outside to the deck here. So you can go out on this deck and have a wonder around the outside as well now. Uh, whereas you can't, I don't think, on deck 2. Um, and this bar this bar is a treat. This is where they will shake you up a cocktail using lots of unusual flavours and herbs and spices and the Dr. Barman will uh, shake you up for a special cocktail. Let's move on. Straight from the Alchemy Bar, we're now moving forward and we come to all the shops. So behind me here is the Carnival Shop. This is Chuck packed full with all the kind of the, the carnival paraphernalia. We'll have a look through there in another video perhaps. We're now moving towards the centre of the ship and we can see the atrium here. There are two spiral staircases leading down to that atrium and on either side here we have the photo gallery. So this is where they put all the photographs up um, of what they've taken through whether you've got off the ship on a tour or whether you've just had them taken around the tour. We've got a separate video for this as well. A little bit further on now from the um, from the photograph section. We're now in the corridor that then has all the shops off it. We'll do a separate video of these, but um, this is a beautiful walkway. This sign at the bottom here always reminds me as though it's got gelato <laughs> ice cream, but it's actually the shops. If you want formal photographs taken, just for yourselves in a formal setting, this is where you come and book these in. So if you've got a special occasion, wedding anniversary or um, you've just got married or something like that and you want something special this is where they'll sort you out for that they are quite expensive though be aware we'll just give you a quick pan round of the shops but we just to give you an idea we've got the duty free we've got a there's a small shop with things like headache tablets and those sort of essentials perfumes watches handbags jewellery on it on bought by the uh, by the length um, and that's pretty much it up here so let's walk through there is Pandora now we're at the very noisy Java Blue Cafe this is where you can get your specialty coffees although you can get them from the atrium on level two and um, this also has as well as your specialty coffees it has extra delightful cakes and scones and things that you can buy at a, at a small extra cost. Uh, it's noisy because they're doing some extra work at the side, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. And there's beautiful seating up here, cafe style. And um, yeah, this is a this is a favourite for the crew to come for their coffee. Straight past the Java Cafe, we have the Limelight Lounge. This is where they do the comedy nights and also the karaoke. So this is a more of an intimate bar. Let's have a look. Trio. Uh, Triel is Chase, Ava and Eli. Come on up. It has a stage and a bar, a beautiful lounge seating and lots, so there's lots of seating and lots of uh, tables. They also do Build-A-Bear in there. Um, was there anything else? And the art auction. So this is where you come for all those kind of things. And we're very nearly at the front of the ship, back to the front. And this is the balcony area of the theater. Let's have a quick look in there. 
We are now on the balcony level of the theatre and we just thought we'd bring you up here so that you can now get fully orientated about how long it's taken us to get from one end to the other and also so you can see the magnificent views of the stage you can get from up here. That's the levels with everything going on down at this end. The next fun level to get to, the next um, deck is deck nine. Let's shoot up there. From the back of the ship on deck three, I have hit the button straight onto nine. All the rest between three to nine are the staterooms. Here we go, here's deck nine. So straight up to um, deck nine at the front of the ship. This is cloud nine, the relaxation and spa area. This is where you can book your spa treatments. And um, oh, we'll have to do another video on this because there's a lot going on here. Let's keep going through. So here is deck nine. This is the family swimming pool. The deck to sunbathe, jacuzzis, we've got the uh, red frog rum bar at the back. Free ice cream here as well and frozen yoghurt. And there's a stage at the front here and that this is where they do um, the evening deck parties. This is where you'll find them. And they can cram the whole of the Luminosa band, I think it's nine piece band in there of an evening and all this is cleared away for the deck party. You can refresh your towels as well here and pick up the life jackets for the youngsters, all the different sizes. Awesome, they're so cute. The bar at the back here, that sells all the cocktails, but also all the normal beers and soft drinks as well. Straight off the pool area, you walk into, now we're getting into the sort of self-service food areas. The uh, Luminosa is fantastic for its buffet style food in as much as they have separate stations for different styles of food, if that makes sense to you. So on this side, we have the off the grill. This is burgers, um, chicken burgers and veggie burgers in a bun nice fresh hot chips you can just come here you can take these actually pretty much anywhere you want on the ship but there's place to eat here but you can also take it around the swimming pool and just eat casually there on the other side of the bar let's show you that this is going to be difficult because the food stations are everywhere mm. here so this is the opposite side to the burger bar pretty much same setup but over here you get your burritos and tacos this is closed at the moment but this is normally open throughout the lunchtime and you can pick up um specially made for you is um the taco or the burritos and you've put whatever fillings you like in it there's a salad station just here to add any extra bits of salad and some hot sauces um, and if you pick the very hot chili sauce you can always grab yourself a frozen ice cream or yogurt ice cream machines frozen yogurt machines right here this is open until midnight marvelous if you haven't had your sugar fix <laughs> In the burrito and taco bar section, there's sort of outdoor seating, but it is shaded in. We've now moved inside into the air conditioned side, um, sort of buffet style restaurant. This is delightful. It actually, the way it works is um, the seating areas are on both sides of the ship with the windows either side. And then the food stations are down the center and then across the center, like a like an H. So you've got the two sides like this, and you've got different food stations coming down, and then one across the middle here, and that has your deli and your pizza. So think of it like an H, seating, seating, food, food, and then the one across here has the glass elevators with your pizza and your uh, deli sandwiches. When we just move, Further to the back, aft, as they say. 
and we haven't finished yet with the food that is included in the cost of your holiday. So when you come outside of the Lido, this is on the um, starboard side, I think. Port, no, port side. We now have the, um, the old fashioned grill. So this is sort of an indoor outdoor section. So you're out of the um, air conditioned bit. And here they have all the, um, the sort of the grilled meats, um, toasted rolls, things like that, and salads. And you can enjoy those here. And again, you can take them back into the restaurant or you can enjoy them in the grown up area here, which is the adult retreat section. We've now made our way from the front of the ship to the back of the ship. So leading off from the Lido restaurant and the uh, old fashioned, I think I said grill, did you say barbecue? Old fashioned barbecue. As you come here, this is for the over 18s and overs only. We've got a bar here um, and then we've got the seating area. This is lovely. So this is indoor, outdoor. So you get that beautiful, fresh sea breeze uh, but you're, and the sun, but you're sheltered from the sun a bit. Now, those of you who want to brave the sunshine and lounge out, here we've got a wonderful array of lounges. Very, very comfortable. Lots of padded seating on them. You've got these pods that will take two adults, three, if you can kind of all squash in together. And the pods are all the way around here. It's got its own swimming pool and its own jacuzzi. This is a beautiful area just to come and sit and chillax. So that is level nine. Now we're gonna go up another level to level 10. You don't have to catch the elevator to go from level nine to level 10 in the Serenity area. There's a set of stairs either side, just hop up there and here you've come to the Sunset Bar. How beautiful is this? This really is like being on your own private yacht. <laughs> I know I say that, but I do like to think I'm a bit of a bit of a billionaire S. Um, at heart. At heart. <laughs> <laughs> so here, this is obviously again where you can get your cocktails, a nice drink, and look at the view from the back of the ship here. What could be finer? What could be nicer than that? There are a few things to do on deck 10. So apart from that beautiful sunset bar, you move along the side, the corridors on the outside, and you come to the smoking area. This is fabulous. They've got an indoor smoking area with its own bar. The bar isn't open at the moment, but it, but it does open. Um, so you can enjoy a cigarette here um, without getting windblown or wet if it starts to rain. And there's also an outdoor area that's um, well facilitated, chairs, um, tables, and uh, a bit of shelter over the top. This certainly is one of the best one of the best areas on a ship that I've seen, yeah. But no. Just because of this alone. Moving along from the back of the ship, Coming forward, we've then got this little corridor here and what they've put in here is some sort of kids seating. We've got the um, table tennis board here and that does have the paddle boards and the ping pongs available for you. And then this is terrific, come and have a look at this. This is the level on deck 10, this is the level where you can look over and um, it's sort of covered over here. So it's again, it's an indoor outdoor bit where you've got a bit of shade, lots of nice, nice lounges here. Yeah, the wicker lounges look good, don't they? Beautiful, so you can get that sea breeze but not the full sun on you. And then there's tables and chairs around the outside again. Um, this is great when you've got sail away or, um, I don't know, just sail away at the parties in the evening if you don't really want to join in, you just want to come and have a watch. This is the balcony area. We've now moved inside from that outside balcony bit where we were overlooking the pool and to my left, <laughs> if I was facing the other way, is Camp Ocean. So this is one of the children's clubs. They have just had their very own Build-A-Bear um, party to the left. We have uh, the rest of Cloud9 and the gymnasium. Now they do have proper locker rooms here. So these are more than just the bathrooms. 
These are the locker rooms. This is where you can get changed if you've been in the gym. You don't have to run back to your room. So um, that's just to give you an idea. They're there. And here we go into the gymnasium. Oh. They cater for all ages in this gymnasium. The young chaps like we've got here. Young <laughs> and some older people. And we've now made our way into the fitness centre. So this is... This is open for everybody. You can come and join in. It's very, very well appointed. So it has the running machines. It has a whole section of weights. There's mirrors right round so you can see yourself posing with the weights. You do not have to book in to come here. You just come in anytime you want to. There are some speciality um, sort of training events. And if you want one-to-one -one training, you do have to book those in. And at the moment, I think they're doing yoga in one of the separate rooms that's available. But this is so well appointed. And look at the view. You do not need TV screens mm. in here to keep you motivated. Just outside the fitness centre, we have the locker rooms. One for men, one for women. The locker rooms are not just toilets and lockers. There are lockers in there if you want to put your, um, your uh, clothes in there when you go to the Keep Fit. But there is also a sauna. The sauna is magnificent. It has a floor to ceiling glass window that overlooks the sea as you're having your sauna. Beautiful. They're really well appointed in here. Thank Let me just go in and I will show you. Here we go. So this is what's called the locker room, but it actually has all uh, so this is it has showers. Let's see. It has the beautiful showers, big big showers here, some hair dryers, nice big mirrors, floor to ceilings. We've got lockers here, and this is what I wanted to show you. So this is the sauna. It is being used at the moment, so I'm just being careful not to film anybody. But you can see here, this is the floor to ceiling windows. So you can sit in your sauna and look out at this beautiful view. And it's, it's really, really big, the sauna area. So lots and lots of space and a very hot temperature. We're now moving back from the front of the ship, backwards, but on the other side. So this is the other side to the games that we saw, which were um, the ping pong tables. This side, we've got the football. I know there's a proper name for these. Football stalls, yeah. Yep, and we have the pool table. Again, you don't need to book for these and they're at no extra cost. And um, what's down here? Let's go and have a little nosy. Just past the pool table, one side is the Fahrenheit 555 restaurant, specialty restaurant, but we have found a secret door. So our little secret doorway led us to outside. This is the walkway leading outside. And we have a little putting green here. And then we are back to, we've got the Club 02, which is another one of the kids' clubs. And then we're back to the Sunset Bar. We've done a full circle. We have just walked up the external stairway from deck 10, now onto deck 11. This is where you will find the jogging track. Just goes round and round here. And they've got, um, it'll tell you how many laps you need to do for miles or for meters or kilometers. So you'll have to just work that out. At the far end here are the um, sports courts. I said that right, the sports courts, which is where you can do basketball and throw a hoop. Um, I think that's pretty much all we've got it, up here. That's level, really yeah, it. Yeah. But you can get spectacular views up here, but there is no bar. You have to go back down to 10 and go to the sunset to get those beautiful views with a drink in your hand. There's a sports court and a jogging track. I'm not sure why you'd need a bar up here. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just letting you know if you think that you've made it all the way up here that you deserve a drink. <laughs> just letting you know you have to bring one with you. <laughs> okay, let's have a quick swing bad sports course and I think we've done the whole ship tour then. I think that's about it. This is our final look. So this is the sports courts behind me here. 
It's all netted in, so you can't lose the ball. Thank goodness, it's a, bit, a little bit windy. You can't really ask your neighbours for your ball back if it goes over, can you? <laughs> That's the dolphins to throw it back in. And here we can overlook the uh, Sunset Bar and then the Serenity area. We hope you enjoyed that short trip with us around the ship. Uh, not quite a, sh a ship's tour, um, we were hoping that you would be orientated in finding your way around this ship. It's a very easy ship to navigate um, and that gives you an idea of what's on two and three and then nine and ten, which apart from your staterooms in between, they're the most important levels for that you will be um, enjoying on your yeah. cruise. It is very easy. It's yeah. very easy. <laughs> if you like this video, if you found it useful, if you found it helpful, please hit the like button. Uh, please consider subscribing. As Ali always says, it does help the algorithm. I'm still trying to work out what that means. But <laughs> <say>. <laughs> and if you want to see any more of our videos, hit the notification button and you will be notified of them as they come out. We yes. do try to keep a regular schedule, um, but sometimes it goes a little bit off, but we'll be back. So thanks for watching. Take care, happy cruising, and we'll see you oh, in yes. the next video. If you're still unsure about cruising, we're going to do one just for you to try and persuade you <laughs> to book a cruise for your next holiday. You won't regret it. Bye now. Bye for now.